Hello everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a combo list creator. Now this is for the smaller audience that are into doing certain things, um, that being uh, cracking, things like that. Now this little tool will enable you to take two lists, uh, one being usernames and the other being um, maybe the passwords, and combine them together. So you've got one big file that you can now import into let's say your program that you use um, so that's good for two reasons you can make or make, well, you can make your own list so you can pull names and passwords from anywhere um, but this works for two anything so two different lists you can merge into one separated by the colon now it's pretty straightforward but some people have asked for it and I, I, I made it in the past but didn't make a video so I thought I might as well show it off um, so all I've done here is create a new project uh, using Visual Basic language so for those of you that are a bit confused Visual Basic um, so what we need is a couple list boxes so this one here is going to be for the usernames you're going to import or the first list and this one here is going to be for the other list so basically two different lists we're going to merge them together into a final list that will be here. Um, so we can just shorten that a bit. So what we need is um, let's say a button here that will be for importing a list into this one. Import list. Um, we also want the other button for this one which will just be import list again. And then we can have one here which will be um, save list because we don't want to import into this one, we want to save. Um, we also need, let's say, uh, another button, we can just drag that the whole length of them to, and that will be called create create list. And then we can have maybe a label here, which will display how many people, or how many different combos you created. So we'll call that total, and we'll just copy that and put that to zero by default and have that laying roughly around there so what we want to do is quickly get this import in out of the way we can do that by saying dim import is equal to a new open file dialog and I feel like I use this a lot if you watch all my videos but it's a pretty useful thing um, so we just want to say if uh, if import dot show dialog is equal to result OK, then what we want to do is say or get all of the um, lines of our file. So we can say dim all lines and make sure that's an array as a string, <coughs> and that will be equal to system dot io dot file dot read all lines, and then the file we want to read all the lines of is our import dot file name and that was just the, the name or the file we selected using that open file dialog and then after we've done that we just want to add uh, all of those lines so we can say list box one dot items we want to use dot add range this time because there's a lot and we just want to add all well I've, I've messed that up a bit we can just say it capital L all lines and now that will add all that to that one so if we go into the other import list we can just copy uh, this code the only thing we want to change is we want to add it to list box 2 this time and then we'll do the save saving part in a second uh, actually we might as well get it over and done with now we can say We'll call this one save and that will be equal to a new save file dialog this time and we can say if save dot show dialog is equal to ok uh, this time we want to do a bit of different we need to create a stream writer which will enable us to write to a file so we can just call that dim s writer short for the stream writer uh, as an io dot stream writer we can say uh, s writer is equal to a new 
io.streamwriter and in brackets the file name uh, you would have you would have inputted the file name in the text box that comes up when the save file di save file dialog comes up you select the name and that th now this knows that we want to write to that file so we s we want to loop through all of the lines we have in here and write it so we can say for uh, i is equal to 0 uh, to list box three dot items dot count uh, minus one so that that will loop through all of our um, lines in the completed one and what we want to do for each line is say s writer dot write line um, and what we want to write to that is list box three dot items dot item and in brackets we want to say i because um, that's what's going to be looping through and that is what each line is going to be and then after this little next here we just want to close off our s writer what we could also do is if you really wanted well, we'll do that after we can change this zero here so for uh, however many lines we have but we'll do that in the create in the list uh, so now we actually want to go ahead and do the create list so when we press that button we want to check if we've actually got items because if we haven't got any items we don't want to go ahead so we can just say if list box uh, one dot items dot count if it's equal to zero then we know that there is no items in there so we can just say message box dot show uh, for some reason message box didn't go up message box dot show and we just say no usernames and then in here we can just say else if list box two dot items dot count is equal to zero then again message box uh, dot show this time no passwords now I'm just using this for an example um, I don't use this for this purpose uh, just letting you know that um, so then if all of them have items in this is where we want to start so we'll, we'll create a function called make list and now let's go ahead and make that below here so we can say public sub make list and inside here what we want to do is again like we use this loop we're going to create another one for both of these two so we can get all the items out of here so first of all we'll, do, we'll start with list box one for i is equal to zero to list box one dot items dot count minus one inside here we want to create another one um, we'll, we won't call this i because we'll get confused. We'll call it z uh, o is equal to zero. So list box two this time. Dot items dot count minus one. Now inside here, what we want to say is list box. We want to add to list box three because this is where our merging is going to come in. List box three dot items dot add. And what we want to add is uh, list box one dot items dot item and in brackets want to use i and we want to add on to that a little colon this is where our colon's coming in and then we want to add on the other side of that so you should hopefully see what's going on we're adding the left side which is that putting a colon and adding the right side which will be list box two dot items dot item and in uh, brackets o that's what we used here and now after that next um, we can just say label which should be number two uh, what happened there label two dot text is equal to list box three dot items dot count and that that label just going to display how many items are in here so we get an idea and honestly that should be good to go now the good thing about this is because we have it inside each other it creates the maximum amount of combinations it can because I'll show you what I mean by that if we run it 
hope that should be done. I've created a little file on my desktop. Uh, if I can find it. With a couple names inside it. Now you see I've imported that in. Um, you see the names there. Now if I import it in again. I, obviously I'd, I'd want a different file with the passwords or whatever. But if I press create list. Let that do what it's got to do. You'll see that it should have only made five combinations really. Um, but it's it's made let just say for Joe it for each for each one in this list it adds all of the passwords from this list so you can see because there's five of these there's now five passwords matching this username so you can see one two three four five and it's done the same with all of them so it creates this username with all of the passwords so you get maximum combinations so I guess there's probably a better success rate if you are using this for cracking um, but if not you can actually merge lists and if you didn't want it to do or create the maximum combinations you just wanted it to merge this one with this one this one with this one and um, then I guess you could just separate the way these for loops work and put them outside of each other um, but really that is it um, it's a pretty useful little tool especially if you do this stuff um, and you have two separate lists uh, you don't really want to manually put them together yourself so this little tool will do it for you so I hope this could be of some help to somebody who needs this kind of thing um, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time